Hey there, fellow Power Ranger enthusiasts. Gather round for some Ranger talk. You know, those colorful heroes always have a knack for changing outfits. It's like they're on a fashion show, but with monsters to fight. They've got their regular gear, but sometimes they kick it up a notch with their enhancement modes or super modes. It's like a power-up with a side of extra coolness. I mean, who doesn't want more armor and shiny new weapons, right? But hold on to your helmets because we're about to dive into the abandoned enhancement mode of the Turbo Rangers. And no, we're not talking about that weird metallic mode. Seriously, what were they thinking? Now let's get real for a moment. Power Ranger suits meant for underwater action? Are they trying to compete with the aquatic heroes of Kamen Rider? I can already picture the Turbo Rangers swimming around with their sleek suits, making waves and fighting evil beneath the ocean surface. It's like they're auditioning for a role in H2O Just Add Water. And hey, that show was a guilty pleasure. Don't deny it. So here's the scoop. These aqua suits were supposed to make their debut in Turbo, a Power Rangers movie back in 97. It was the sequel to the Mighty Zeo series and the kickoff for the Turbo era. If you haven't seen it yet, it's time to dust off your morphers and fire up Hulu. But brace yourselves, because this movie had more changes than Zordon has head wrinkles. There were deleted scenes, an original title, Power Rangers, Race to the Volcano, which sounds like a wild ride, and even a longer version that could have given The Lord of the Rings a run for its money. Seriously, when will the comparisons end? Now us fans may not have witnessed these deleted scenes firsthand, but we've caught glimpses through promo pictures and comic book adaptations. Imagine Tommy and Cat in the jungle, wielding flamethrowers like they're preparing for a barbecue rather than fighting evil. Safety hazard much? But that's just a taste of what could have been. In an August 96 draft of the movie, we would have been introduced to the Turbo Rangers aqua suits, thanks to a brand new character, the Mermaid Mandika. Yes, you heard that right, a mermaid. Talk about a fishy addition to the team. Mandika would have joined the Rangers on their quest for these watery suits and maybe even stolen Adam's heart along the way. Sounds a lot like Dulcia from the Power Rangers first movie, doesn't it? She had that whole mystical vibe going on. Remember when she smooched Adam right on the cheek while he was a frog? Talk about amphibian affection. And hold on tight because there's more. Mandika would have also played a part in saving the returning Mighty Morphin Power Rangers from Divatox's aquatic shenanigans. Picture them escaping from a mini-submarine or something equally wacky. We may not know which actress would have taken on this role, but one thing's for sure. This explains why there was so much water involved in the movie. They really wanted to make a splash, quite literally. So there you have it, my fellow Ranger enthusiasts. The untold tale of the Turbo Ranger's abandoned aqua suits and their mermaid companion. It's a story filled with watery adventures, questionable fashion choices, and kisses for frogs. As always, the Power Rangers universe continues to surprise and amaze us. Now go forth and may the power protect you, both on land and under the sea.